projects based on two different uh, coordinate systems will be calculating the transmission parameter between these uh, two coordinate systems okay and then let's import the coordinates we already have in both systems uh, from this import menu you can click this ASCII data and then in this ASCII data we have already listed some coordinates in these files in a CSV format let me show you how uh, this CSV file looks this is the format for um, for storing the coordinates okay we have the ID of the points the string northing and height we can shuffle these locations to any column and this attributes to any columns but we have to um, indicate it uh, we have to indicate it later while importing okay mm, uh, just make sure that we have point ID string northing and height it can be any other attribute it may be lat long or height we just have to have uh, the three dimensional coordinates uh, for the uh, for the transmission model I'm using right now okay which is the bar south and we'll talk about it later okay let's uh, import those coordinates first of all okay let's minimize this this is the MUTM coordinates I'm I'm trying to import this to the MUTM, MUTM uh, project okay uh, just make sure that this uh, while importing this uh, file is not open if the file is open like this then you will not be able to import the file okay it will say invalid file if you turn it off okay then you can import it and uh, you one thing you have to make sure that what corner system is the import the file being imported uh, is in okay mm the coordinate systems of the uh, points that I'm importing right now is in local system so I was selecting local and the height is the orthometric height okay I'm using the orthometric height so I chose orthometric height and then uh, what's I'll import these points this will prompt you to uh, import wizard uh, there's not much thing that I should be telling you here sometimes uh, there appears some uh, inappropriate rows over here uh, at that time you can uh, start import uh, importing row from a different row okay like if uh, in this first row in my case if in this first case was a random or random row or something unusable then I uh, will be um, uh, omitting that row by starting the import at second okay you see the row has been removed but now I am importing the first row also okay then uh, you uh, then generally we are uh, we have um, we have the file we are importing a file in a CSV format so we should select this free option for importing the data and uh, it, it is uh, a comma separated value the file we are importing will be separated by a specific character okay next we can uh, next year we should be indicating what separators uh, what separator are we using in the file uh, which is comma it is a comma separated value so I'm selecting comma the semicolon is not needed okay now you can see your data just arranged in the columns in the respective columns and the third step we are using uh, the projected grid coordinates so 
I'm providing the grid coordinates here. Then linear units, uh, usually we use meters, so it's selected to meters. These are the control points, so I have selected the control. Okay, now we have to assign headers to these columns. Uh, we have to click in a specific column and we have to assign what header does it belong to. This, uh, this column 0 is the point ID, so I'm assigning point ID to this column. Uh, the column 1 is the string values, so I'm going to this coordinates and string for first column, column 1, then uh, northern for column 2, and similarly height for column 3. And then you can you can save it as a template if you will be importing this uh, same type of grid coordinates in the same format time and again. You can uh, name it anyway. Let me name it like that, okay? Then we can finish it. After finishing, we have to assign the important imported coordinates to a project. For now, um, I have imported the MUTM coordinates, so I'm importing it to this MUTM MUTM project, and I click assign. This will assign the coordinates to this project, uh, which means that the coordinates are imported to imported to this project okay so uh, you can see that project name over here uh, project tribe MUTM these are the coordinates I have imported now let's import coordinates in the uh, global uh, global system okay. I'll tell you why it didn't work okay it's open over here we need to close it and import it then Okay, here some random rows have appeared, so I should start my import from row 2. Okay, uh, that's fine. Now, here we have select geodetic. Now, let's change this to change it to degree decimal degrees. Okay, now let's assign the coordinates. Uh, okay, let's finish. I'm assigning it to 84. Okay, done. Now it's giving 